Hey, Bill Shockey here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Welcome to my home in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. We are experiencing just superb weather right now. So uh, it is a great day to be alive, and it is especially a great day to be alive in Costa Rica. Please join me. Come down. Let's, let's sit down around the pool and crack a couple of beers open and have a conversation about our goals and about our life vision and our successes and our failures. We can be happy. We can be sad. We can smile. We can cry. And did I mention the beers? Anyway, consider this. Come to Costa Rica. Email me. More than happy to give you details on getting down here. Anyway, today, two essential skills for leadership. Having a great uh, email banter uh, with a person, and I actually expanded it a little bit. And... Um, they wanted, they wanted me to uh, give them leadership essentials kind of in a nutshell. Uh, like, in other words, what's the one greatest attribute of leadership? And, I, you know, there's really no way to answer that. I mean, I could have said, well, it's, it's uh, public speaking skills. I could have said it's the ability to set goals. I could have said it's um, uh, visioning. Uh, there's a million things that we could add to that. And it was kind of constraining to say, well, what one attribute of leadership uh, do you consider to be uh, of greatest importance? You know, that's like you asking me, uh, Bill, uh, what I would like you to do is to give me a history of the Catholic Church, and I'd like you to include the social impact that each pope has had on the world, on, on world society. And I'd like you to do that in 12 words or less. You know, it's just impossible. Uh, so, so the end result is um, I... Uh, I, I've actually broken this down into two categories uh, that uh, we were discussing online. And uh, here are the two categories for essential leadership skills. The first is common sense, pragmatism. William James, the Harvard uh, philosopher and professor from the early part of the 20th century, developed the school of American pragmatism. Pragmatism is basically common sense. Okay, And leaders, all leaders that I've noticed uh, that are great leaders, have a level of common sense. And that's cool. They should. Uh, all people should have a level of common sense. Unfortunately, many times we don't. Keep in mind that having common sense in the form of corporate leadership does not mean you're going to have common sense in the form of your personal life. Uh, but uh, th that, that aside, I'll leave that for another five-minute motivator. Uh, common sense is one of the attributes that I see of leadership. And I, I don't see that published very much. So I thought I would include that. And here's the second aspect of leadership. I like to call it self-restraint. Okay, uh, to be able to have this level of discipline, to be able to control your actions. Now, let me put the both of these together. Let me put common sense and self-restraint into a context uh, for leadership, and then uh, you decide on whether or not these are leadership attributes that you would like to actually bring into the fold of your own behavior. A leader will, in fact, hire the correct person. That's common sense. Here's a problem that I have. I can apply labor to this problem and take care of it. So, for example, the leader has a problem with um, uh, uh, developing market share in a foreign country. They, do, they hire a foreign national who understands marketing, and now they've applied a uh, labor type of, uh, of a situation to the problem that they have. Makes sense. Now, that's the common sense part. Problem, solution to the problem. Here's the self-restraint part. Letting that person do their job. Having them report back to you on what has to be done. Not micromanaging them, as I mentioned in a previous episode. So, consequently, a leader will hire the correct person, then give them the time, the time to do their job properly. Common sense, self-restraint. Does that make sense? Now, again, remember, I'm trying to keep this in the, in the context of five minutes, which is extremely difficult. But I'd like you to consider those two leadership concepts, self, um, common sense and self-restraint. And do they actually work for you? If they do, what are you waiting for? Put them to use. Bill Shock, I thank you for attending another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Please like, share, comment, and don't forget to join the 5-Minute Motivator membership. Thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you in the next edition. Bye.